Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. In this section, we'll be sharing how to take your vision to the next level. We are created to make a difference, and God has endowed us with potential and with abilities to make a difference. In every generation, men and women that take the lead are people who understood the power of vision. Your vision helps you to interpret your future. If you truly want to know what your future is going to be, you have to look into the vision that God has given to you for your life. God created you to fulfill a purpose, and the purpose why he created you has to be fulfilled by you. Your vision is a mental picture of the future that God wants you to come into. I said your vision is a mental picture of the future that God wants you to experience. Do you know, having a vision helps you to live a life of excellence. If you truly want to live a life of excellence, a life of productivity, vision must be part of your life. Clarity of vision produces inspiration, strength, and passion for continuity. I can truly excel in my calling without a vision. Vision helps you to know the direction to go. A lot of people are living, but they're not living with their vision. They are living a life that is not consistent with their vision. So vision inspire you to break limitation. In the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, while Habakkuk the prophet was complaining, and the word of the Lord came to me, he said, write the vision. He said, the vision is for an appointed time. The vision is for an appointed time. You see, your vision is your foundation for releasing your potential. If you truly have a potential, it will take your vision to give direction to your potential. It is your vision that will give direction to your potential. You know, a lot of people keep wasting their potential in the wrong direction. They, they keep using their potential in places they ought not to use it because of lack of clarity of vision. But when you understand your vision, you know the purpose of your potential. Today I'm sharing with you how to take your vision to the next level. Number one, limit, every, limit or okay, let's use the word, eliminate every possibility of distraction. Eliminate every possibility of distraction. Of distraction. That is the first thing we're going to look at. Eliminate every possibility of distraction. Unknown to some people, they buy into distraction that we are walking on the right track and that we are moving on the right track. Until this fellow came into their life and told them certain things and they pull away from the track of their purpose, then they couldn't concentrate on their vision anymore. So you, you have to stay on the track of the vision. To eliminate the possibility of distraction. Eliminate the possibility of distraction. Sometimes you can be doing what is right, what God has instructed you to do, and someone else come and tell you, why are you doing all of those things? Why are you giving all of this money? Why are you supporting? Why are you doing that? They, they, they come with distraction. So we have to eliminate distraction because distraction has the potential to frustrate our potential, our dreams. Distraction, it comes. There is emotional distraction. There is a mental distraction. When someone is distracted emotionally, it frustrates the ability to go forward. If you want to take your vision to the next level, you must learn to maximize the opportunities that God brings your way. You must learn to maximize the opportunities that God brings your way. Whatever opportunity that God has brought your way, you must learn to maximize it. You must learn to maximize the opportunities 
Sometimes God can give you an opportunity to help someone or to serve in a leadership, to serve in a place. You must learn to maximize the opportunity. If you want to take your vision to the next level, you must learn to handle the relationships in your life. You need to look at every relationship and ask yourself a question. What does this relationship supply to me? You must have a relationship that supplies your knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Very important. Those are the most important relationships in your life. Relationship that supplies you spiritual knowledge. Because you need spiritual knowledge to live an effective life here. So what are the relationships that supplies me spiritual knowledge? Now you check relationship that maybe brings you business, brings you things. So any relationship that is just dormant, not helping, not supporting, not doing anything, only creating problem, those relationships are not needed. A relationship that always want to cause you trouble, cause you problem, you don't need such relationship in your in your life because you want to move your vision to the next level. You want to move your vision to the next level. So you have to look at relationship. What does this relationship supply? What does this relationship offer me? What is this relationship adding to my life, adding to my dream, adding to my destiny? So you have to look at that. If you're going to move your vision to the next level, you must learn to prepare for your vision. Preparation is important. You must prepare for your vision. Preparation. A lot of people have a great vision, but with less capacity. They have a great vision with less capacity. Their capacity cannot be able to drive their vision. If your vision is going to make it to the top, you must learn to develop your capacity. You must learn to develop your capacity. So prepare for your vision. Preparation is strategic in developing your capacity. Your emotional capacity, your mental capacity, and your spiritual capacity has to be developed. Has to be developed to be able to handle the things that God will be calling you to do. To take your vision to the next level, you must have a mentor or mentors in your life. People that will help you grow in the vision. People that could inspire you. People that could help you rise. Mentors. Mentors. Mentors are people that train us, coach us, inspire us, help us to get to the next level of our vision, the next level of our dream, the next level of our calling. They are mentors. Those that could inspire us, motivate us to fulfill our destiny. So mentors helps in, in building of a vision. So visions can be built if, if mentors are not there because someone should be able to give you a counsel, someone you could look up to for inspiration, someone you could look up to for understanding, you know, someone you could look up to for, for wisdom, someone that could share with you in your time of need. So mentorship is strategic when it comes to the pursuit of a vision. Mentorship is strategic. So if, if I have a mentor, someone that could talk to me, someone that could tell me, hey, you got to watch it this way, you got to watch it this way, you got to think about this in this direction. So to move your vision to the next level, you need mentors. Someone you could listen to, someone whose word inspires you, motivates you, quickens you, helps you to be able to see things from a different perspective that could produce the right energy in you. Now, the, the, the next key to moving your vision to the next level may be liking to the key of faith. Having faith in God, this is very important. Because if you have a great vision and you don't have faith, that vision can make it to the top. Faith in God is strategic. Faith in God. Every great vision comes to pass by faith. He said, the just shall live by his faith. How is the just going to live by faith? So to take your vision to the next level, you need to walk by faith. 
2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. He said, for we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. There are situations that may come our way, but we walk by faith. This is how you succeed. This is how you win. You win when you walk by faith. You win when you choose the faith walk. Because faith in God will bring you to a place of success, to a place of dominion. So when you walk by faith, you win. This is how you win. Walk in my faith. What has God called you to do? He has called you to walk by faith. He has called you to walk by faith. So the vision, to take your vision to the next level, your faith must move in the direction of God's will. Your faith must move in the direction of God's will. So what's your vision? You need to walk by faith concerning that vision. The next key, if, if you're going to bring your, your, your vision to the next level, you must learn how to maximize your strengths. What is your strength? Which area do you have strength? Which area do you really have strength when it comes to ministry, when it comes to life? Where are your strengths? Discovering your strength, maximizing your strength. Discovering your strength, maximizing your strength. You can't build your dreams on your weakness. You can only build your dreams on your strength. So what is your strength? Which area do you have strength? Which area do you have strength? So maximizing your strength makes all the difference. When you discover your strength, the area where you have strength, whether it's a mental strength, you could write very well, you could communicate very well, you could maybe you have the ability to relate to people positively, you have the ability to network with people, you have a charisma in one area or the other. So you, you, you think about utilizing your strength, maximizing your strength. That should be your priority. How do I maximize my strength? How do I uh, manage my weakness? You know, the next key we're going to look at right now is when, if, when you maximize your strength, you learn to manage your weakness. <laughs> you learn to manage your weakness. Maybe the areas where you have weakness, you got to learn to manage it, that your weakness don't run you out of your strength. If anger is your weakness, you need to learn to manage the anger. If pride, whatever that is a weakness, you have to learn to manage your weakness. If you don't handle your weakness, your weakness may run down your dreams, may run down your vision, may destroy your vision. Because you, you want to take your vision to the next level. When people see you all the time, you're angry and frustrated. They won't be able to give you the support you need. Because you should be able to take care of your emotion if you want to take care of your vision. You should be able to take care of your emotion if you want people to take help you take care of your vision. You must be able to take care of your emotion if you want people to help you to take care of your vision. I want to say it this way. If you want people to help you to take care of your vision, you must be able to take care of your emotion. Visionaries must be able to take care of their emotion if they want vision supporters to support the vision. So your emotion is very important. So that you don't overreact. You don't become so... You're always getting involved into trouble. You know. So we need to look at that. It's very important that you take care of your emotion. If you want people to help you take care of your vision. So your emotion is very important. So to take your vision to the next level, we have to think about these things that I've just shared with you. To take care of your vision, to take your vision to the next level, you have to evaluate your lifestyle. You know, this is very important that you evaluate yourself and check at yourself in the area of character. 
you know, am I, am I really doing well in the way I communicate to people? Am I really doing well in the way I react, in the way I speak? You know, you have to reevaluate your life. You have to look at yourself and, and reevaluate your attitude, your lifestyle, your way of thinking and your way of doing things. You have to consider this. Now, if, if, if this, this is very strategic in building a vision that you should be able to look at yourself and say, wow, am I, am I really living according to God's word? You know, am I really living according to God's word? Am I really living according to God's word? So you evaluate yourself, and when you evaluate yourself, it helps you to think differently. Self-evaluation is the key to self-fulfillment. Self-evaluation. You have to evaluate yourself to make decisions that will take you to the next level. Thank you for watching this broadcast. It's always a joy to bring forth the engrafted word of God to you. It's my passion to teach and help you grow in your vision. I'm Fitman Obweda. And you can connect with me on Facebook. It's Fitman Obweda on Facebook. And you can also stay connected to me on YouTube. It's Fitman Teaching on YouTube. And also, if you want to partner with me, you can do it on PayPal. It's fitmanteaching at gmail.com. Fitmanteaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. And please stay blessed until I see you on my next broadcast. Don't forget, your best of days are ahead of you.